selling product in the market they also produce high of quality product for the customer and they offer affordable price to all consumer with the best of quality product uh, the herbs company also provide sale through the online online this system and they use a simple and attractive marketing plan their company are one of the business that pro provided the health and beauty product which can which can help people out there to solve their health and beauty problem. The Herbs Health Sendiran Berahat was established in September 2010 by Dato' Alif Shukri bin Kamal Zaman. They operate only in lots of shops on the second floor with only one employee and has four main products which is foundation, slimming product, woman health drink and the collagen lipstick. After that, the herbs company have moved in their store and hired to lots of shops to launch a business and make it easier for all business partner deal. With a capital 100,000 ringgit, he started his own brand beauty product business. After making a study of the product for a few months, the herbs first product is lipstick, which is first collagen lipstick in Malaysia. In 2010, when Dr. Alif Shukri formed the herbs company, he hired a few professionals including a chemist to join his company. He released in 100,000 ringgit to produce his first self-manufactured product with a collagen lipstick. The herbs products are manufactured in their own factory named Alif Herbs Manufacturing, Sendian Berhad, established September, September 2012. Uh, the customer would be aware of the herbs tagline, which is the Lajak Laris. The herb company vision is to become a single company that produces beauty and health products with open concept that's simple and easy, but at the same time, have the best in terms of management, effectiveness, quality, and reasonable price that is affordable for all customers. The Herbs Company mission is to help those men and women that suffer health problems, which include internal and external, to appear with more confidence and stylish. Then, there are a few of objectives that have been stated by the Herbs Company. First, provide after-sale service. Second, have the concept of meat store attractive, clean and happy. Third, Provide best product for long term. Fourth, distribute cosmetic, health and beauty product, especially around Malaysia. Fifth, grow up as private limited company. Last but not least, become one of the Bumi Putra company that really competitive. The first strength of the health company is the good quality product. It is because the product that has produced by the tea herb, the main ingredient is 100% is herb. For example, manja kani, kacik fatimah, ginseng, and others. Second is the branding of the product. The product that has produced by the tea herb is very well known in the community, not only in the Malaysia, but the Singapore, also in the Brunei. It is because of the good marketing and the tagline is Kelajak Laris. Okay, the last strength of the Dehub company is the reasonable price. They sell the product starting RM15. ringgit. The first weakness of the Dehub company is many similar products with the competitor. For example, Gamolet Ghost by the Vida Beauty. It is a competitor to the Dehub. Vida Beauty also produces a health and beauty product. Next is the damage of reputation. 
they have company before this uh, have produced product with the handful ingredient like uh, they have premium diet the last weakness of the health company is that to Ali Shubi, as a founder, does not have high level education. So, he's not have more knowledge and experience. Okay, moving on to opportunities of the D-Herbs company. First, increased perceptions of active lifestyle and self-attractiveness means D-Herbs company produce more types of product that can fulfill the customer needs. Uh, second point is strong market growth. The herb uh, company had agent more than 6,000 dealers and every year uh, their sales are very high. The last point is emerging needs for the herbs uh, product uh, or services. Treats of the de herbs company. First, overcrowded market means as we know Malaysia are commonly built uh, the business based on beauty, health, wellness and anti-aging. Uh, the next uh, point is competitor high spending on advertising. For example, social media such as Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, other entrepreneurs uh, using uh, famous celebrity to promote their product. The last point for treat, uh, for treat is losing trust of the customer. Uh, once we lost uh, trust or belief from customer, it's very dangerous to the herbs um, company to sustain in a uh, market industry. The pesta analysis uh, also adverts as pest analysis. It is constituents uh, in the principle of the marketing. In fact, uh, this term uh, is used by organization as a monitor uh, the words uh, in which they were to establish a uh, new projects, products or service. Political factor. Political factor are all about how and what uh, decree a government intervenes in the economy. For example, the Hertz company on February 2017 was fined uh, 11,000 by Kuala Lumpur Magistrate Courts uh, because of uh, misrepresenting uh, uh, statement uh, of health claim, uh, Juice Perawan Gold, which is uh, the advertisements uh, such as uh, help improve uh, the immune system. And the second product is uh, I am assured helps to improve uh, help to improve uh, the blood uh, circulation. Economic factor includes goods, services and money. An unstable condition in the economic sector might directly affect the business. Interest rate is an important thing in economic sector which business and companies pay great attention to. An increase in interest rate most of the time triggers an increase in the cost of borrowing which make it expensive for a business to borrow money. Inflation happens when the prices in the economic sectors increase drastically. As for the herbs company, it can reduce the percentage of sale when inflation happens and the purchasing power of consumer also decrease due to the higher price of the herbs product. When recession condition happen in Malaysia, the herbs company cannot generate much money as before and might either need to reduce the price of the product, looking forward for a new funding approach until the recession end or sell small volumes of their product or services if recession condition happen. Exchange rate is another important economic factor that the herbs company need to pay attention on. Fluctuation in interest rate directly affect international payment as well as the prices of the goods in the economy. Hence, it is not good for the herbs to run the export and import activities because it could lead to the negative result with the potential of business. As stands for sociology. Okay, the health factor is the first is population. My population because in Malaysia we have 3 million people. Okay, by that they are targeted uh, year by year, they are targeted all the population or reason um, to, of your product. So by that they could repeat that and repeat to buy the product. Okay. Second is health conscious. Okay. Third is lifestyle lifestyle attitude the next is cultural influences okay. and last is factor that uh, social factor is uh, 
carry attitude, carry opportunity. They helps to give opportunity uh, to them to gain profit or gain money by being agents, um, being stockists, that can produce money by selling them. Technology is a complement complement to industry of human labor, as well as an increase in the productivity of a company. Firstly, internet connectivity. This presents an even large and benefits market for the herbs company who use internet to connect with key customers. Marketing is done in a multi-platform media such as radio, television, sponsorship, social media like Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Secondly, automation. With the automation, the employee and unskilled or pull in doing tasks, courses of companies allowed to replace human production lines with entirely machines ones. Lastly, technology and competitor development. With the technology the hurts, company is able is able to avoid data loose where the data is stored in its own folder and is known only to the employee responsible for the storage as well as the founder. Legal, the herbs company must comply with the regulation of control of drugs and cosmetic regulation 1984 that related to the control of safety and quality to protect and promote public health. Advertisement of cosmetic product need to follow the guideline under cosmetic advertising code. Next, the herbs are also legally bound with food law such as Food Act 1983. For example, the herbs was fined by the magistrate court due to misleading advertisement of promotion of the product Juice Pro One Gold and I Show. Environmental factors is very important in order to run a business because it is going to give a huge impact toward the ecological effects such as recycle, usage of natural ingredients and sustainability. Sustainability of a company in entrepreneurship is very important as it shows that the company is doing very well and managed to compete with their competitors in the same market segmentation. For example, is the herbs. The herbs was established in 2010 but managed to sustain their business until now due to the sustainability of their company. This is because their customers are loyal to their products due to their marketing and well advertising. Next is the natural ingredients in producing your product. Okay, the suggestion to the VHub company to gain income for the business, they can grab the opportunity uh, that government was mentioned in budget 2020, which is MDEC. MDEC is referred to the Malaysian Economic Digital Corporation. Okay. MDEC uh, can utilize e-marketplace and the social media platform to company sell their product. The help company must grab the opportunity because nowadays country is more focused to the techno entrepreneur. So if the the help company take this uh, incentive, it can give more benefit to the business. The help company will upgrade the social media platform and they can get high profit every year. The next suggestion on web creation based on budget 2020. Okay, government provide grant padanan otomasi pinta for all entrepreneur in Malaysia. Grant padanan otomasi pinta make it aut automatic business process easier. Uh, 2000, uh, 2 million of incentive that given for every each company to increase the efficiency production so that uh, a biggest opportunity to mm. the herbs company to grab this incentive that provided by government for the next suggestion package kalakan pelaburan istime istimewa which is the herb is able to introduce their product while expanding the product market throughout the country including developed country such as United States, China, Korea, Japan and others. This incentive also opens up a huge opportunity for the herbs companies to increase their, their, their revenue. To transform the leading local business and potentially, potentially 
compete in the global export market, the government will provide the package Telecom Pelaburan Istimewa, which is the value of up to RM 1 billion a year for a period of 5 years. The purpose of Kada Fund Sendiamber Heights uh, is to help uh, promising Malaysian technology entrepreneurs to create successful way for their business. There are two types of uh, investments uh, under Kada Funds. One of them is uh, CGP, uh, Coach and Growth Program. CGP is designed to provide uh, entrepreneurs during uh, commercialization and growth stage with tools and uh, show how uh, to implement strategies and plans. So that is also can help uh, the helps company to improve uh, their company. The next point is uh, increases the R&D department. They have to also have their own product that support of the wellness product. Okay, the next is uh, they have also have a collaboration with SME Corporation. And the last is uh, they have to also gain uh, profit from Expo. It is important because Expo is the best way to gain profit and in expand your brand. And that point, and that is Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation. It has been proposed in budget 2020, which show the government is serious in accelerating digital adoption for micro, small, mid-sized and large entrepreneurs. Apply for the Coach and Grow program CGP under the Credit Fund, the company must first fulfill the requirement for the program. The first stage of the application process is the hubs must fill in their company and business information for evaluation. And in the second stage, shortlisted candidates need to fill in a more detailed application form and will be invited for a pitch interview. Research and development. As a company who is going to produce beauty and health product or chemicals product who is going to be used by lots of consumers out there, we're supposed to have a certificate. Therefore, we're supposed to get a certificate from MOH and CIRI. Every research that is going to be done by the MOH members or MOH facilities need to be carried out by using the MOH registered brand MRG and must be registered through online via National Medical Research Register and MRR. As for CIRIM, the company need to apply for ISO 22716 under Good Manufacturing Practice for Cosmetics. Expo is a platform for small businesses until traders becoming entrepreneurs doing sales activity here. The objective for the implementation of this expo is to introduce products and service to the public. It explains the advantages, price, ingredients, and product information to the public. The Agenda Bumiputra is a government-sponsored initiative to assist Bumiputra institutions and entrepreneurs.